So let's take a look at the difference between keys versus RFID in an access control scenario. Let's say you have a few doors and a couple keys to get into those doors. One key might have access to one door and the other key might have access to a couple other doors. But in general, what you have to do is put those keys on a keychain because each door only accepts a unique key. That means that there's a many to one relationship between doors and keys, wherein everybody has to have a copy of that key to get into that door or doors. And those keys end up on keychains. And then you have a collection of people, each with their own unique keychain. And effectively what you've done is you've moved the center of your security infrastructure away from what you control, which is the doors, to these keychains where there is no control. Anybody can copy these unique keys. There's no differentiating who is using what key and there's no real way to control it. So now let's take a look at RFID. An RFID card is interesting because it has a unique serial number, meaning every RFID chip is unique and uniquely identifiable to each door. So that means each door can maintain an access control list of every unique RFID card that has access to the door. So you could give access to one unique RFID card to one or all doors. But the important thing here is that control is maintained at the door, not the key. Because of this, access control management is much easier than with keys. If you need to revoke someone's permission to go through a particular door with a key, you have to go and get the key and trust that they didn't copy it. But with RFID, you can simply remove the card serial number from the access control list for that door. Or if the card has been lost, you can remove it from all doors. Of course, if you have an implant, then you don't need to worry about losing your access control card. I hope this video helped explain the difference between keys and RFID in an access control scenario. Thanks for watching.